hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so alliance war season rewards are finally here and what the season new nation had so this is not going to be a full-on rewards opening i will claim my rewards i will open some of it but uh we'll get to it later what it is important to know that uh, when it comes to alliance war we had extremely messy season starting the war one where the bomb basically bugged out and gave us a loss in a war that we should have won and uh, that started off a very very poor performance kind of season because that definitely damaged the morale as well and it kind of spiraled out to a point where we we just didn't have a great season i think uh, we lost about as much as we won maybe we won a couple more uh but we we definitely had plenty of ups and downs throughout the season to a point where entering the final war against xk9 uh we actually were in second place in platinum one i don't i don't think i have ever finished uh in platinum one since i have been the new nation and that obviously was was very tense now basically we won the last war which was extremely tight xk9 played exceptionally well there and uh, we managed to get our best war of the season at the very end and we cleared with zero deaths for virtually all of this war it was one to zero to a point where we all felt where if we do die we lose the war and we somehow managed to clear it with a donut so getting that last win ensured us getting in masters but there was something else that happened and that something else is uh plenty of alliances this time around turned out to be quite naughty there's an actual list as we can see here that mibr got points deducted next got points deducted an alliance whose name i will not try to pronounce got points deducted and hcar also got points deducted as well as x5e and palo and yeah and why three to one as well so several of those alliances and there are more of them obviously this is just kind of like the top alliances uh there are plenty more alliances that uh, have been naughty <laughs> this season and got the points redu reduced and uh because of that we actually we actually uh ended up sneaking in uh 10th spot we finished at master rank 7 which is 10th globally so we finished at top 10 masters which uh, almost seemed like a borderline impossible yesterday 24 hours ago or maybe you know 30 hours ago it seemed like we will more than likely finish plat 1 and then having that jump not only to masters but to masters top 10 is uh definitely best case scenario for a season that we had it's kind of like a massively positive thing and with that let's claim the rewards there is a decent chunk of tier 6 basic tier 3 alpha i actually already have enough to do a rank up as well but i'm just going to wait until the featured crystal comes about to rank up some of the new champions now i do need to pick some of these nexuses and i'm not entirely sure which ones i should go for i think i'm just going to grab one mystic one and one i don't know uh what else let's grab a cosmic one because i have been sitting on quite a few of these i'm gonna show you guys in a moment uh because there is not much in the basic crystal pool that i really really want and because of it i'm just basically saving all my nexus crystals uh till the champions that i'm missing and or hunting for will get added to the basic crystal pool that being said let's uh take a look at tier 5 cc's hopefully now that i need to plan it out i'm specifically hoping for three different uh champions in the new feature crystal which is i want spot and i definitely want to run for a spot so i will grab a science fragment to get a few more of those catalysts because to take a champion to rank four you need three of these so having five is pretty much perfect definitely want infamous iron man and absorbing man as well so i'm gonna grab uh half a t 
tech one and half a mystic one because those are the more likely classes that I will rank for in the close future. So I do want to stock up on that a bit. And here we are. Yes, so we have nearly five techs and we're going to have nearly five mystics, which is perfectly fine. And there we go. So now I, we also get 50,000 six star shards, which I'm going to save up now. I'm going to show uh, how much I have saved up in total here. I should have taken a screenshot, but uh, oh well. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, that's fine. And now we can see that I'm sitting on 724. I can probably squeeze it to 750,000 six star shards. So we're going to see how many of uh, the featured crystals we can open. So if I had 600k shards, that would be 40, 750. So we may, we may be able to open 50 featured six star hero crystals where I will be hunting for virtually all of the new uh, champions except for Mantis. Mantis is the only new six star that I do have. And as far as it goes for Nexuses, just so you guys understand why I am not opening any of that stuff is uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in a second but I have saved up these uh, daily cow crystals as well but I do have now two six star cosmic Nexus saved up. I do have two tech nexus saved up. I do have four skill nexus saved up. Six mystic nexus crystals I have saved up. 17 regular six star nexuses. And then on top of it all, we also have about 10 or 11 abyss nexus crystals, which are three tech ones to make sure they definitely get that infamous Iron Man. We do have a skill abyss nexus. Um, then we have science of this nexus times six. So this this was originally to make sure I get Quicksilver, but I did get him without the help of these. So, so now this is for Spot or any other future champion. And we also have one mystic one. So I'm just going to continue hoarding them because hopefully now that the new featured crystal is going to come about, I will not have to use them to get these champions that are going to be in the upcoming featured six star hero crystal. And I'm going to be able to kind of hold on to them until such time when I need them. All right, all that other stuff put aside, I did want to say congratulations to the top three uh, of the season. We definitely were nowhere close to the top three. So congratulations to GT40, JA and TCN and everybody else that managed to get the positions that they want sga1 seems to have been absolutely killing it this season matrix for loki d69 salty legion and obviously new nation guys as well and then who else finished in masters we have savage squad chaos loxo league of extraordinary champions don't think i particularly remember that name uh revod uh root russian alliance wakanda one uh Raid Battle Team, PBT, and Furious Gods, Kotekuli, and the Brotherhood, XK9, which was our last and final war against. And uh, then, yeah, I hope that you guys finish the season wherever you were targeting and aiming for as well. And uh, that is it for today's video. As I said, this is not an opening video, and there will be a massive opening on my channel for featured six star hero crystals in uh, six days <laughs> in six days and four hours from now so definitely stay tuned for that but other than that that is pretty much it new nation definitely has uh, some reorganizing rethinking replanning recommitting to do because we kind of almost had a massive fall from grace where previous season we finished in second place in the world and then we almost finished in plot one, which is like obviously a massive, massive fall from grace, which was a uh, rough. Definitely also damages the kind of morale and commitment for Alliance War as well. But hopefully we will get an update for the next season. Maybe some new nodes, maybe something else new, interesting. But uh, either way, New Nation definitely needs to 
pick up the slack and uh, get back up top hopefully but yeah that's it for now and i'm gonna catch you guys later see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the